We've learned how to bounce a single rectangle around the screen. Next is a question, what if you have quite a few different things that you want to end up bouncing around the screen and not just one? Rather than just create separate like rectx and rectchangex variables for each one, we're going to show you how to move several different items around the screen. To start with, we're just going to do something simple like being able to put snow on the screen. This can easily be adapted for like a star field as well. I'm going to take the default Pygame template, like what we used last time, and I'm going to take that default Pygame template. Instead of having a background of white, I'm going to change that background to black, which will make the snow show up a whole lot easier. So I set the default background to black. Next, I want to draw on the screen a whole bunch of snow. And I can start by trying to do that with a for loop. For i in range, I'm going to create a random x. And a random y. Then I'm going to draw a circle at that location. There's going to be several problems with getting this to work. I was going to have run this so that we can figure out what those problems are. I go ahead and run the module and it immediately crashes and dies because name random is not defined that's because I never imported the random module so let's go ahead and do that port random now if I run the program I've got two issues going on first off this isn't snow that's just appearing on the screen it's more like some sort of white noise that's going on and I'm not taking up the entire screen. If I take a look at what's going on and freeze the screen here, I've got this whole section and this whole section where nothing is appearing on the screen. Let's fix both of those problems. Taking a look at my program, I can see my width right here is 700 and my height is 500. Before I set the random variables from 400 to 400 so I'm not covering the entire screen. Let's fix that. Y is the width. I'm going to head and change that to 700 and whoops Y is not the width. Y is the height. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 500 and we're going to change X the width to 700. Now when I run the screen covers the whole screen that's great but I still got some sort of weird white noise thing going on. Why is that occurring? Here's the problem. We've got X and Y being created with a new random number 20 times per second. because this is inside the for loop and this is operating at 20 times per second. I'm not telling it to save where it's at. In fact, that's actually what I need to do. I need to go through and create 50 random numbers, store those, and then 20 times per second save them at those random spots. What on earth am I going to do in order to be able to save 50 items and I don't want to create 50 different variables, each with their own different names. So how do I create a list of 50 different items? Well, that's exactly it. I need to create a list. And I'm going to need to do that before I even start this main program loop up above. I'm going to copy this part of the loop, place it up here, unindent it. Then instead of drawing the x, y location right here. I'm going to save it to a list. How do I create a list and then keep appending items to it? Well, back in our prior chapter for chapter 7, we had an example on how to create a list from scratch. This is a really common pattern. 
talked about that before, and we're going to use it right here. I'm going to call this my star list. Set it equal to an empty list. Now, once I create the x, y location, I need to add to the star list. So I'm going to do star list dot append. And here's a trick. I want to be able to save both the x and y location. If I just did star list append x, I'd only get the x locations. And I don't really want to keep two different lists. So I'm going to actually append to my list a very small list of both the x and y location. What I'll end up having will be a list of 50 xy's. and so forth that'll be saved inside of StarList. Okay, so we've got each of those different snowflake locations stored in a list. Now we need to be able to iterate through that list and draw them at the right spot. Well, that's not too bad. All I need, instead of doing for i in range, I can do for item in star list. This will allow me to iterate through each different item in that list, and the item will be stored in the variable called, aptly enough, item. And instead of recreating a random number, I can just draw this at the item's location. Now when I run the program, The snowflakes are staying in the exact same location because I'm going through that list and drawing them each time during those 20 time frames per second at that spot that I remember. Now, how does this work? Remember, if I've got a snowflake at like 5.5, five, that is in star list and is pulled out and it is put inside of item. This is replaced with that little mini list of the XY location that I had before. That works pretty well. Let's go ahead and actually try to animate the snow to make all of the snow flow down the screen. We learned with the rectangle if we want to animate we just need to add one to the items as they're falling down the screen. So let's go ahead and try doing that. I want to take item and remember, item is an x is a small list with an x and y location. If I want the y, I'm going to need to refer to item index 1. And I'm going to add 1 to it. For example, something at 5, 5. This will be my x, and this will be my y. And I'm going to tell it here with item 1. Remember, the list is numbered 0, 1, 2, when I'm doing the array indexes. And I'm going to say take this and increase it by 1, so it'll increase the y to 6. And then, if I run the program, hopefully, will the snow fall down the screen? Well, let's check it and find out. And there we go. The snow is actually falling down the screen. We're doing pretty well. There is a little bit of an issue in that it looks like the snow falls down the screen, but once it falls off, it's not reappearing up at the top of the screen or anything like that. I'm just done with the snow. How do I get it to reappear at the top of the screen? Well, I can do that by the following. I can check to see if item 1, that is the Y location, is greater than the height of my screen, which is 500, then set item 1 equal to 0. Now if I run it, you'll see as soon as the snow pops off the bottom of the screen, it ends up reappearing up at the top of the screen. This isn't perfect because actually if you take a look at it, for instance, this pattern right here that we've got with these four snowflakes is going to reappear in that same exact pattern up at the top of the screen when it falls off. So let's watch this, see, as it flows down here. I'm not keeping a very random new set of snow. I'm going to have it reappear in those four up here at the top. If you want to put a new random location in there, 
we can set item zero equal to the width of the screen. Now once it falls off the bottom of the screen, it'll reappear up at the top of the screen in sort of a random location. But it's not purely random because as soon as something drops off the bottom of the screen, I know it's going to reappear at the top of the screen. What I could do is Give it a random range that will make it appear slightly above the screen at a random Y location from negative 20 to five, negative 5. And that will mix things up a little bit more. Now when things flow off the bottom of the screen, they're not going to reappear at the top of the screen exactly that same way.